Good morning, dear students. How are you? I hope you are fit and fine. Welcome to your virtual class of English. Let us start this beautiful day and thank God through this prayer. Today's topic is singular and plural nouns, which you have already done in the previous class. Let us revise the concepts which we have done earlier. Generally, to make plural, singular to plural, we add s to the word like toy, toys, car, cars. But there are few words which end with s, x, ch. SH or SS, we add ES like lens, lenses, fox, foxes. Now, there are few words which end with Y. If the word has Y in the end and before Y there is a consonant, then instead of Y we use IES that is fly, flies, puppy, puppies. Now, if the word ends with Y and before Y, there is a vowel, then we don't skip Y, rather we use S with the word like re, raise, boy, boys. There are some nouns which, have, which are same, which have same singular and plural form like sheep, sheep, fish, fish, deer, deer. And there are some irregular plurals which do not follow the rule of S like child, children, man, men, foot, feet. Now, let us learn a new concept today. Let us learn more about singular and plural nouns. There are some words which end with O. Now, it is a summer, summer vacations. And you are eating mangoes daily. So, just tell me the spelling of mango. M-A-N-G-O. Mango. Now, this is one mango. See, this is one mango. So, we will say it mango. But when there are more than one, what do we say to them? Now, there are one, two and three. These are three mango. Should we say them also mango? Now, 
these a mango end with o now when there is n in the end there is o we add es to it when we are to make them plural we add es to it now what is the spelling of mangoes it is m a n g o e s mangoes so one is mango and plural of mango is mangoes similarly there are some more nouns which you see daily at your home now what is this this is potato p o t a t o now which letter is there in the end that is o this is potato so when there are more than one potato we say to them see here there are more than one potato so what do we say to them potatoes p o t a t o e s what we have we added to it we have added e s to it so one is potato and more than one are potatoes so when we add when the word ends with o some in some words we you add e s like mango mangoes potato potatoes tomato tomatoes hero heroes buffalo buffaloes but there are some words there are some nouns which end with o but there we don't follow the rule of es rather we add only s like piano pianos banjo banjos let us learn another concept of singular and plural there are some nouns which end with f or fe suppose this is a leaf what is the spelling of a leaf l e a f this is a single leaf you can see that now what is there which letter is there in the end that is f now you can see there are so many leaves over there so when there are plural leaf we don't say them leaf rather at the end of f instead of f we add v e s now what is the spelling of leaves it is l e a v e s leaves sometimes the children do a mistake what do they do they add f also and v e s also which is wrong so when the word end with f we need not to write f for the plural we instead of f we write v e s right so have you seen your mama chopping your vegetables or fruits for you yes what does she uses she uses a knife what is the spelling of a knife k n i f e what what letters can you see in the end that is f and e and if there are more than one knives then what spelling will you do is say then k n i v e s yes instead of f e we have used v e s so we have learned that the nouns that end with f or f e form plural by removing f and adding v e s i have explained you children that if you are removing f that means you need not to put the f again now here are a few examples calf calves dekho yahan par f nahi hai jab humne plural kiya thief thieves again f is not there f ki jagah par kya hai v e s half halves life lives now some nouns ending in f can be formed into plurals by adding s as well to kuch nouns aise hote hain jaise o mein dikhaya maine aapko beta ki kuch o wale nouns hote hain jin mein hum es nahi lagate usi tarah se kuch noun kuch nouns aise hote hain jinke end mein f hota hai lekin wahan hum usko f ko replace karke ves lagane ke bajaye सिंपल वर्ड के साथ हम 
एस एड कर देते हैं लाइक रूफ रूफ शेफ शेफ ड्वाफ ड्वाफ क्लिफ क्लिफ नाउ आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड द कंसेप्ट वेल लेट एस डू दिस एक्सरसाइज नाउ हेयर इज अ वर्मी यू कैन सी इन द पिक्चर देर इज वर्मी हेल्प वर्मी द वर्म to write the plural of the following nouns now you have to write these are singular nouns and you have to write plural of them one i can do for you like dress dress ends with double s so dress ka plural kya hoga dresses right now here it is mondi help mondi the monkey to circle the correct plural form of the given noun and cross out the incorrect form yahan par kya kiya hua hai yahan par noun ke aage singular noun ke aage ek galat plural likha hai aur ek correct likha hai humne correct ko circle karna hai aur sing galat ko galat ko humne cross karna hai jaise fox fox ka fox end with x to fox ka plural kya hoga foxes e s or f o x s wrong here so similarly butterfly butterfly ends with y y se pehle kya aata hai l l is a consonant to hum kya karenge y ki jhanga par i a s lagayenge to which one is the correct word b u double t e r f l i e s butterfly we will circle that word and cross the another one now here is another worksheet what you have to do is you have to fill in the blanks with the correct form of words given in the bracket the baker baked some dash cookie and dash muffin dekhiye beta yahan par word hai some the baker baked some some yani more than one to hame cookie ka और मफिन के प्लूरल्स लिखने हैं तो कुकी का प्लूरल क्या है कुकीज एंड मफिन का प्लूरल क्या है मफिन तो रीड द सेंटेंसेस केयरफुली एंड देन डू इट राइट नाउ हेयर आर सम वैकेबुलरी वर्ड्स व्हिच यू हैव टू रीड एंड देन लर्न एंड देन राइट इन योर नोटबुक प्रैक्टिस देम इन योर नोटबुक द फर्स्ट वर्ड इज herd h e r d herd herd means a group of animals yani animals ka jhund now h e a r d herd herd h dekhiye upar upar word hai h e r d herd that is group of animals and h e a r d herd yani ki past tense of hear yani कुछ सुना था हर्ड पास टेंस ऑफ हियर आर थर्ड वर्ड इज हडल एच यू डबल डी एल ई हडल मीन्स क्राउड टूगेदर यानी जब हम बहुत से लोग इकट्ठा एक झुंड बनाते हैं उसको बोलते हैं हडल आर नेक्स्ट वर्ड इज हुप्स विच यू हैव लर्न जस्ट नाउ what are hooves hooves are the outer covering of feet of animals aapne kabhi horse ke ya cow ke paon dekhe hain ha wo aage se bahut sakhat hote hain bahut thick hote hain that are hooves another word is hand some h a n d s o m e handsome handsome means very good looking जब बॉयज बहुत स्मार्ट लगते हैं तो हम उनको कहते हैं हैंडसम ह्यूमरस ह्यूमरस मींस एच ह्यूमरस मींस यानी बहुत हंसी मजाक वाली बात इसकी स्पेलिंग क्या है मेरे साथ बोलिए एच यू एम ओ आर ओ यू एस ह्यूमरस और लास्ट वर्ड इज हेरिटेज एच ई आर आई T A G E heritage heritage यानी कि हमारी संस्कृति हमारे 
हमारी जो पुरानी मॉन्यूमेंट्स हैं दे आर आर हेरिटेज दिस मच इज फॉर ऑल फॉर द फॉर द डे स्टे हेल्दी कीप वॉशिंग योर हैंड्स एंड स्टे एट होम बाय